Welcome back to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today, I want to share with you how to make shabu shabu. As you know, shabu shabu is one of the favorite dishes among tourists. It's easy to prepare, all you need is to buy the best quality beef that you can afford. Let's get started. Soak comb kelp in 2 liters water in an earthenware pot or any shallow pot you have. Turn the heat to very low to draw the maximum umami from comb kelp. Meanwhile, let's prepare the sesame sauce. Put your toasted sesame seed into a subikogi grinder. Grind until half done. Add sesame paste or tahini, sugar, and mentsuyu. Add water a little at a time and make it into smooth. Next, let's prepare the vegetables. Usually, we prepare Napa cabbage, but I like to make some change. Use your peeler to make daikon radish into ribbons. Do the same to your carrot. In this shape, your vegetables cook in the pot in no time and you can enjoy the texture. Cut the long green onion diagonally. Cut off the stem of enoki mushroom. Tear into bite size. Cut your tofu into 2 inches square. Transfer your shabu shabu beef to a plate. I like to have nice fatty marble Japanese beef for shabu shabu. The preparation is done. Let's enjoy cooking on the dining table. First, grab your beef and dip into the hot water. Swish your beef back and forth in the hot water until the color turns pink. Take out into individual bowl. Drizzle some sesame sauce and enjoy immediately. You can also use ponzu soy sauce if you like the tangy taste. Shabu shabu is the word for the motion of swishing back and forth. The beef is so tender and soft. Sesame sauce is rich and nutty. It's so flavorful. In Japan, we have a portable gas stove top to cook on the table, just like an electric griddle. Put your vegetables in the pot and shabu shabu, as well as the beef. Tofu is good to go when it cooks through. The ratio of beef and vegetable is 1 to 3. That's the secret ratio while we are so thin. After eating beef and vegetables, I add soba noodles for the shime. Shime literally means closing. Sometimes we close the shabu shabu with udon noodles. Sometime with ramen noodles. Add some mentsuyu and hot water. Slope the soba and it's so satisfying. We eat hot pot dish in cold winter months quite often. Shabu shabu is one of the special for us, but actually, it's easy to prepare at home. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Click like if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please visit my website for more information. Follow me on my social media for daily u p d a t e And the store on Amazon is open 24 7, so you check the ingredients and tools. The link is in the description box below. Thanks again and I'll see you in a week. Bye!